in this video we're going to download and install FileMaker Pro 14 and after we're done we're going to connect to the PAL server. Now uh, to get started uh, you'll receive an email uh, like the one you see here on the screen which will have all the information you need uh, to get started including your download link, your organizational name, and your license key. Um, now to get started, uh, now before you install I would recommend that you close all other programs that you're running. Let's say you're working on Microsoft Office or some other program. Basically, just quit everything. So you have uh, nothing open at the time. Now, um, so now to get started, if uh, if you're choosing the Mac, you would choose the Mac link, and or uh, on Windows, which I have here, you will choose either the Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. Um, now, how do you know if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit? Basically, the easy way is to click on the Start button, the search box, and type System, S-Y-S-T-E-M. And that will take you to the System Control Panel that you find here in the list. And right around the middle of the screen, you'll see System Type, which is 64-bit operating system. Okay, that's all I, all I need to know. So I'll choose a 64-bit. I'll click on that. Now, um, now I'm given a choice here in, in the download box that I have here. Do I, do I want to run? And run basically is pretty simple. It, once it's finished downloading, it'll automatically start the install process. That, that's a good one. Um, I like to choose, if you choose a save button, uh, it'll, save, it'll save and you can go uh, open it later. So say, say after work or during lunchtime, you can let it save and when you go back to work, you can uh, uh, that file be there waiting for you. Now, when you click save, you might not know where it's going. Click on the options button here, and it says it's going to the, the downloads folder, okay, which might be in the same area where you find your documents. Okay, click OK. But I like to choose save as, because that way I can choose desktop. So click save as, click on the desktop, and click save. And I know it's going to the desktop, ah, as I can see right here. Okay. Now, um, this usually takes about 15 minutes, depending on your internet speed. And, okay, oh, thank you very much, Norton. This file is safe, okay. Now, I've kind of fast-forwarded things with this video, so so the download is already done. Okay, now, now, now that this is done, you can click the Run button right here, and it'll automatically open it up. You can also close this window and just double-click this icon here, but I'm going to choose the Run button to make it simple. And let's get things started. Now, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Yes. Oh, I see this window in the background. I'll close that one. Don't need to do any more. Now, select the language. I'm going to choose English because I speak English. Okay, now let's get started. Next. Okay, now in this part here, uh, for username, you can put anything you want. I mean, you can put your name, you can put the name of your First Nation uh, or, or organization. Um, I'm going to put my name. Now, the next two boxes are more specific. Organization has to be the one that's assigned to you. Okay, now, so this is my organizational name. Uh, now, back in the email, you see where I'm highlighting that. I'm going to choose Control-C on my keyboard. Uh, I think on a Mac, it might be Command-C. Okay. Now, um, or Option-C. I think it's Command-C on a Mac. Organization, Control-V is in Victor. And for license key, Highlight. And Control-C. License key, click Control V. Okay. And there you have it. And then I'll hit next. Okay. Now at this point, we no longer need the email. Okay, we already have the information that we needed from this email, so I'll close that. And let's let's continue on. Um I accept the terms of the license agreement. Okay, and I'll click next. And uh, I accept the default folder location where it's going to install. Next. Uh, complete setup. Yes. Next. 
Uh, place the shortcut on my desktop and place the shortcut in the quick launch toolbar. That's fine with me. Next. Uh, click to begin. Install. And there we have it. Um, now you'll notice that the, the original download file is here. And when that ran, it, it expanded the uh, folder which has your installation files here. We're going to delete these two files later. Okay, once we're all done. Okay, completed. Finish. Okay, FileMaker product registration. Okay, where are you located? Canada. Register now. And yes, please do register once you install. Now, uh, my information is already filled out for this example, as you can see here. But you can fill out your information, as in your first name, last name, email, anything that has a little asterisk beside it, you have to fill in. Okay, postal code, country. So fill all that in and hit next. And here, are you new to FileMaker? I currently use it. Are you interested in volume discounts? No, uh, I'm not anyway. You might, you might be. And hit next. And these questions do not have an asterisk, so I'm going to skip those. Do you want FileMaker to send you some emails with their news? I'm going to hit no and submit. Okay, and done. Now this pops up says Apple Bonjour for Windows was not found in the system. Now if you're on a Mac, you probably won't see this because Macs, I think I already have Apple Bonjour, but if you're on a PC, you will need this program, so hit yes. Uh, and basically, um, without it, you won't be able to connect to the PAL server. So it's just a little utility program. So uh, Apple Bonjour, next. Uh, installer, next. And I accept, next. Install. And this won't take long. And that's it. Congratulations, finish. Okay, so at this point, uh, we have FileMaker installed. Now, um, I'm going to delete these two install files right here. Don't need you. And that just leaves me with the purple folder for FileMaker Pro. Okay, so let's get started and open up FileMaker so we can connect to the server. I'll double click that. Okay. Now, um, I have the launch setter open here, but uh, if uh, if this is your first time, you will more likely probably see the Getting Started Tour. Okay, so um, the FileMaker Getting Started Tour. Uh, this is something that you'll see when you first open up FileMaker, which you do not need at this point. So close that. Now. Here you are with FileMaker, it's a, it's a blank gray screen with only the menu bar on top here. Now, let's connect to the PAL server. So the first thing you're going to need is two things. Uh, you're going to need your account name and your password, okay? Now, um, just so we don't have to type both in all the time, uh, let's go under Edit and choose Preferences. And we're going to put our account name under Username right here. So whatever's there, delete it and put your account name. And it can be small letters or big numbers, it's not case sensitive. So there's my account name, you put in yours, press OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is go under File and choose Open Remote, it's the fourth one down. And this will open up your Launch Center. This is, this is something new with FileMaker 14, we've never seen this in previous versions. Okay. So now I don't have any host address here, so let's make one. So click on the plus sign and let's add a host. And let's put in the host name, which I will supply to you. As we spelled correctly. Okay, now you can give it a, a favorite host name that's optional, it's up to you. You can call it This Is My Host, or, or um, but I'm just going to leave that blank and Okay, so once you hit save, providing that you type the host internet address correctly, it, uh, it should ask you for your password. There we go. Now notice that the account name's already filled in. That's because we went under edit on the menu, which is up here, and went down the preferences and put that under your username. So put in your password, which has been assigned to you. Now the password is case sensitive, so make sure your cap locks are not on. Okay. Now click.
click OK. And uh, wow. there's my right there. Okay, so I can double click that or click it once and choose open. Put in my password again and click OK. So basically, the, the first time uh, when you connect to the server, you have to log in twice. And the reason for that is because it, it wants to check if you have more than one file that's assigned to you. Okay, and there you have it, the PAL database.